What's up guys, Mystic Fire here to bring you Black Clover episode 47 review. Uh, I apologize for being late. If you want to know what happened, you know, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I always leave, I always leave the link in the description down below. Uh, follow me on Twitch as well for some gaming. Uh, but anyways, uh, this episode, uh, it was okay for, you know, it was okay. It's not as good as the as last week as last week's episode, episode forty six, basically, when L, you know, when all step up the game and as the game. Uh, animation wise, this week's episode was average for a black clover, you know, because it's the peria. One thing I have to say though that I did not like about the episode was the day took away from the sense of danger. You know, they took away from the sense of danger. Of the Black Bulls members, basically, that were there. They're basically being Noel, Vanessa, Feral, and Asta himself, as well as the other people that were there. Because they tried to show that that, that, that this fight was an spectacle, you know, was a show for the people of the Underwater Temple. Which never happened in the manga. Like, yes. Like, yes, it happened, no, before, in the chapters before it. But not in this chapter, especially because this chapter, it was just basically... Uh, it was just like a sort of like a setup chapter and then some fight at the end, which is what happened in the anime, but the, which is what happened in the, which is what happened in the anime too, as well in the manga, but the anime decided to include uh, an anime only fight, which is Vanessa. Now, Vanessa, I don't want to spoil anything when it comes to Vanessa, I know, so I'm, I'm just going to wait until the anime gets there, if it gets there, you know, in season two or what now. But, you know, Vanessa, it's a character that doesn't really fight like that, you know? She's a support character. That's all I'm going to say. She's a support character. And so that fight that they included in the anime, it's only anime. You know, it's anime only. It's not canon. That image that they also showed uh, of Yami, you know, Yami talking with an uh, old man, uh, or basically the, the, the showroom or whatever you want to call it, that was not shown in the manga because that takes away from the sense of urgency that the fight had, you know, from the episodes that were building it up or the chapters that were building it up. And so the manga did not did that. On the other hand, Shri Period did. And that's and that's basically it does make the episode less interesting. It just makes it you know, like it takes the sense of urgency, like, oh, Yes, sure. Your people, you know, these guys are fighting here, but you know what? Let's make it. Let's make this a big show. Come on, man. Superior, what are you doing? Um, but yeah. So Vanessa comes in to help Asta fight after Asta protects Noel. Uh, he says that she did really well. Uh, you know, and so even in fighting, Asta, Asta, Noel has have a moment there for themselves. Um. Vanessa comes in to help out the guys that were on the floor because Vito wanted to kill them because he wanted to show Asta that yes, because you don't give up doesn't mean that you that doesn't mean that that doesn't mean that you will always get what you want. So basically, he wanted to show that even he said that this is that that's my only weapon, right? So Vito says like, okay, so I'm gonna show you that that weapon of yours won't help you all the times you know especially in situations and he wanted to show that situation there as to which vanessa helped asta out with her threat magic basically also that character that vanessa was fighting which is anime only he looked a lot like sasuke like if you actually think about it he looked a lot like sasuke but less physical but less physically you know like he's a zombie or whatnot that's basically how it looked um then we see Pharaoh, you know, Pharaoh is there. He wants to escape through the hole that Vito did because he is basically a coward. That's how he was shown. That's how he's been shown in the manga and anime. You know, until, until a certain point in the manga, he was shown that way because he got character development. Just like Vanessa is also going to get some character development right now. Pharaoh and Vanessa are, gonna get, are both getting character development. That's a spoiler there. But, you know, it's obvious they're going to get some character development while the fight is going on. Um... Let me see what else. Uh, yes, Pharaoh starts thinking, because uh, Pharaoh thought that 
what uh, Lit said in the cave was a bluff, you know, about the third eye being stronger than him. And he now he has confirmed that it was not a bluff, that it was an actual, th that it was real, that it was an actual thing. So, and then he wants to escape. He wants to leave and everything. Uh, but then he hears Asta saying, you said that, my, you said that not giving up is, my, is a weakness, but not giving up is my only weapon. And I'm not giving up until I achieve my dreams. So basically, Pharaoh there start, you know, he started to think. He also he when he was also escaping, he looked back to see his friends and said, I can't I can't save them now. And then that's when Vanessa came in and saved because Vader wanted to show once again, like I said, that his weapon doesn't always work the way he thinks he is gonna work. After that, they're gonna get attacked. Uh Vero attacks Vanessa Aston Noel there. And uh, Pharaoh comes in with his special magic and, tel and teleports it back at him. No, he, he throws it back at, him, uh, at Vito, and Vito just deflected it. He's he's like, bitch slaps that shit. Like, yeah, this is my own attack. This thing got nothing to me. So like, go away. That's how he does it. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, Vito. All right. Uh, let me see. Vanessa promised Pharaoh to give him a hug if he doesn't skate, if he doesn't... Uh, you know, if he stays in fight, which is, which, uh, there's there was a lot of things added to the to this episode that were not in the manga, basically. Uh, so they just wanted to make the episode. They just they just wanted to make they they just wanted to elongate the episode, which they managed to do to cover one chapter of the manga, basically. Now, hopefully, by hopefully next uh, Tuesday or this Tuesday or this coming Tuesday. It's gonna get you know they're gonna cover two chapters instead of one. They're gonna increase the pace a bit because basically the anime is gonna end fifty one episodes out of which you were forty seven. So there's only let me see there's only four episodes left basically. So they need they need to wrap up this arc really. They need to wrap up this arc so they they and they better not rush anything because there's a lot of stuff that goes into this arc to the end of this arc. You know that's important to the story, basically. That basically, not really important to the story. It's more like you got to learn more about how Asta thinks, you know, and what not. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. They, I mean, they they managed to they managed to hit Beto or Asta at least managed manages to hit Beto with teamwork because that's that you know that's what Black Clover is all about. Teamwork, like it's no it's no friendship power BS. It's teamwork. And if you don't believe me, then by all means, go ahead and read the manga. The manga is 10 times better than the anime. Because, hey, in any case, it always is. It is always is. The manga is always better than the anime itself. But anyways, there's a lot to say. Uh, teamwork makes the dream work. Uh, and which, which was proven in this case, you know, that's that's the way Vito is going to get defeated. I, su I hope so, or I suppose. Because there's no way that Asta, Vanessa... The Asta Vanessa and Firma are gonna get destroyed, you know, and then yeah, I don't know what Yami's got I don't know what's gonna happen with Yami because Yami's still there in um in the space in the in the different dimension from the spatial magic user, uh which Yami tried to get away again, which was out in the manga, which is stupid because like I said, they took away from the sense of urgency of the fight. Basically, everything that everything that was that was built up in the manga that was done so well. The anime just threw it down the drain because oh let, let's show Jami that they watch that, that he's watching the fight. Come on now. Uh let me see anything else I'm missing. Oh yes. If you skipped if you skipped like the intro, uh the intro the recap, let's say, uh you missed a special you miss you missed story there, you know there, there was story there. So you missed. And if you uh and if you did not, then that, you know, you see that the royals or basically, yeah, the royals have a different story of how, of how the Illuminati son has their story told, you know, and as to why they want revenge. So Vero resembles one of the demon that the first Wizard King fought. And that's how it is. We basically, the, basically, you know, all this drama tells her, oh, uh, there were some, there were some demonic figures the wanted the magic for all for themselves, uh, and the elder turned into a demon and that wanted to stop him was the first wizard king. That's basically it. So you know the royals were brought up. Oh, oh there was a there was a money clan that wanted to take the magic. That wanted to take all the magic from the world, the mana from the world. And so the first wizard king 
kill the elder because he transformed into a demon of magical power to destroy humanity. So you see, they, have, they both have different stories in that sense of different point of views as to what happened. So it's, it would be interesting to see what happens when we actually learn the true story of what happened. Anyway, so I have to say, uh, thanks for coming content. I'll, be, I'll do the review right after this video, actually, of chapter 171. And oh boy, this chapter was amazing. Like I said, follow me on Twitter. I'm going to leave the link in the description down below for you guys to go and follow me there so you guys know when I can, why I can upload a uh, video on the day that something comes out. Or basically to know my thought, my thoughts. You know, basically, or basically for me to say, oh, this, this chapter was good, was amazing. Let me let me know what you think about it, and whatnot. So it's a good way for us to communicate. So, anyways, thank you so much. Thank you so much for my content. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to it. If you like the content, and yeah, I'll see you guys and girls next for Black Clover's chapter seventy-one, one seventy-one review.